Hey guys, what's up? Hello. This, this is Buddy Wakefield. Nice to meet you. Um, we're gonna answer some of your questions. We got about five minutes. Real quick, let me just show you what Buddy got me. People are jumping in. This is called Popcorn. It's a little uh, baby's book. My favorite book as a child. What's it about? Um, <laughs> Mom and Papa Bear leave home and leave the little bear alone and he pops um, all the popcorn uh, that all the guests bring because they all brought popcorn and the whole house fills up with popcorn and they have to eat it all before the parents get home or he's in big trouble and the parents get home and all the popcorn's eaten and everything is cleaned up and the parents are super excited because they brought him a surprise and he says what is it and it's popcorn <laughs> I love how simple that is um, guys we're gonna uh, try to answer some of your questions buddy check this out okay how do I start living my life instead of following? Okay, I'm gonna pick, pick tell me which one to pick. Oh, the first one, Pete, Pete Jagers. All right, uh, Pete Jager says, how do I start living my life instead of following my overly pragmatic father's ideas? Pretend inside your skin, you've got a friend who's willing to give you everything you ever wanted in exchange for all you've ever been. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, next question. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there yeah, you go. Good. What if you met someone unexpectedly and the timing is off? Thoughts on timing, oh, buddy? Well, the timing's never off. Serendipity yes. is fundamental to the infrastructure of consciousness, and none of this is by accident. Guys, uh, there's a restaurant across, and it's called uh, Kismet. Kismet. Kismet, and uh, and uh, Buddy and I ate there. We, we, have we both believe there. in it. Yes, uh, but Buddy's a big big believer in uh, serendipity. Serendipity is okay. my superpower. So can you go deeper on that? The answer is available in every moment, any moment, including right now. And regarding the timing with that relationship, I believe it's spot on and lean into it. Talk to us a little bit about um, meditation, which has become kind of like your religion. He, he has a TED talk on it. It's the love of my life. Uh, Vipassana meditation, V-I-P-A-S-S-A-N-A. Vipassana meditation can be found at dhamma.org, D-H-A-M-M-A.org. If anybody tries to charge you money, you're in the wrong place. Mm. It is free, free room and board for 10 days to get established in the technique. There's no idol worship, no rites, no rituals to come out of habit patterns and blind reactions. It's the love of my life. I've been doing it about 15 years and it gives me a technique that I always have to go to, to uh, reset yeah. or to stay set. What does, uh, what does meditation do for you? And then we'll get to your next question. Yeah, again, brings me out of habit patterns and blind reactions. Uh, also, whoa, it's experiential, so it's about a feeling. It's about the capacity to hold sustainable joy. You, you look very badass with that shadow. Look at that. <laughs> you look like a cowboy. This is great. All right. Uh, let's go with WMB. Where's that? Where's that? Oh, eight. Oh, why do you stay? Why do you stay? Why do you stay? Oh shit! I don't know what, what she means. Well, if this is if this is all the way deep, why do you stay regarding uh, life? And and uh, and 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 we're talking about suicide. I believe that whatever you leave with is going to translate and travel with you. So, at some point, it's gonna, that energy is going to have to be dealt with. And uh, I don't want you to have to start from the beginning again. And I hope you stay. Mm, oh, I love that. What if she's talking about relationships? Why do we stay? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was because that similar. might be it. Whew, less heavy. Why do you stay? If once you do everything you can to make it work, uh, you just do everything you can to make it work. If 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 the if the love's there. Um, and once you've done everything, listen, takers take. It depends on what position you're in, but listen, takers take. And, and the givers usually ask why to stay. Mm. And takers take, it's what they do. It's not personal. It's also not their responsibility to um, make you stop giving beyond your means. That's yours. You know what I love about Buddy and why we speak the same language? Whatever he says, his answer, you can kind of apply it to everything. And uh, I, I love that uh, in, the, in the, the way that he speaks. Okay, let's do another one. Um, Let's go, uh, Betsy Broussard. She asked, uh, how to process the fight or flight feeling in a new relationship, is it a red flag? You know, I don't know if I'm the best person to answer this because in, in fight or flight, I'm scream. Oh shit, <laughs> yeah, and you know, fight or flight can, um, a lot of times we uh, gravitate toward that because it smells familiar, it's all we know, and we can mistake intensity for love. And so uh, if, 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 if you are feeling fight or flight, I would really kind of like follow that thread and see where that's coming from. Is it coming from old pa patterns or is it coming from uh, panic? Uh, but usually fight or flight isn't, uh, it, maybe it's a pink sign. It's, it, it isn't necessarily a good thing always. Yeah. 
I, I'm in fight or flight. I just realized in the question it was about new relationships. Um, in fight or flight, I'm scream was more applicable to my um, situation with snakes. <laughs> right. Uh, and for me, it would be rats. Okay. And one more question. Let's, one more question, and we're done. How do I stop resenting my parents? Ooh, this is a this is a good Ooh, one. Ooh, really. that one's not easy. <laughs> you just do. It's a choice. I, it's a choice. It's a process, not an event. That dissolves. You know, uh, uh, anger is is actually a compound of billions of little sadnesses that have accumulated over lifetimes of energy and cycles, and and and, and similarly, sadnesses are like a, a, an accumulation of sh of billions of little shames, and that resentment gets stuck in all of those in, in all of those densities. And the thing about shame, let's just let's just focus on shame. Because it's at the bottom of the food chain. Yes, the the lowest frequency, by the way, shame yeah. is. And when one, one stares at it, it's it's like an ineffectual childhood bully. It just scurries apart. Mm. It's 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 just a rumor, shame. It's it's not even good at itself. And so when one looks at it head on, it scurries apart. And once we begin to look at everything, whether it's shame, resentment, sadness, anger, um, they, they begin to scurry apart. Now they have different densities. Uh, so, so like if it's anger, it's going to take longer. If it's resentment, it's going to take longer. But as long as you keep looking at it and you don't look away from it, and it's not an option to be anything other than the truth, it's eventually going to dissolve. And, and it's, it, you don't need your parents to understand you. You need them to understand themselves. You don't even need that. That's an expectation. Just keep looking at the truth and it'll dissolve the anger will yes. it did for me and, uh, and experientially the people around me especially in meditation guys follow Buddy Wakefield he speaks truth um, he's a good friend what, where can they follow you? Uh, at, Buddy Wakefield at, at everything Facebook, Instagram okay. Twitter is all Buddy Wakefield and then there's BuddyWakefield.com I think I'm the only one yeah so um, I'm going to try to convince him to do this more often to create a dialogue uh, I think he has so much wisdom and the way that he presents things um, are not only um, entertaining, uh, but sometimes it can be life-changing. So uh, follow Buddy, and uh, we're just uh, two guys on a Friday eating burgers and sitting on a curb. Delicious burgers. Delicious, yeah. Just, Impossible just burgers. Talking about resenting parents. All right, guys, be well. <laughs>